occasion at my own home, I'm having, you know, spirits and stuff, you know, do things and communicate with me or whatever. And, you know, it's such a, a, a common occurrence, you know, I just don't even pay any attention to it. Uh, but, yeah, do I believe? Yes. <laughs> it's uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's very real. And, and, <laughs> it's yeah, very we've real. All I mean, got our, we've all got our own little uh, little qualities and, and things about us, and, you know, and everybody's unique, and, you know, we're just kind of drawn to each other, and we all work really well together. And, uh, well, you know, I did see that, you know, and it's lost. I had an you know experience as well because me being an empath, it was like before I could even get really my foot set on the property very well, I was feeling all the dread and oh my god my life sucks and I hate this job and you know what I mean and just oh I'm so tired and you know just all the the negative um, I guess because of the crappy work conditions and the way they were treated and um, they paid you know them in clackers or whatever so it was really. It just was like a dreadful type thing, and I looked pissed off the whole time I was there. My friends were thinking I was pissed at them, you know. So it was like it was like taking on uh, very strange feelings for me, and you know, learning how to shield. You know, like you're trying to learn how to deal with your abilities. Learning how to shield after sucking it in for over 40 years is really, really tough. So sloth was a challenge for I think all of us, but. I'm so glad uh, that sloth happened, you know what I mean? Uh, I think it was very good for all of us, and, and for you and I and, you know, Becky and Connie to see, and I've been to conventions, I've been to tons of cons, I've been to all kinds of things, but, you know, you guys coming out with this company, this, this LLC that's actually a legit corporation that somebody can actually go look up, and they have no bad reviews because you're just starting but the thing is you have everything you need to do a business now tell me exactly how ASAP came to be because um, I know that you all got together and and everything but tell us how and why ASAP or ASAP came to be well we we came to be because, once again, we, we seen a need for uh, a reputable entertainment company in this field. Um, so we secretly planned, and I say secretly because the first thing that we did was we formed ASAP um, Paranormal Investigations. That is our team of investigators. We formed our, our investigation team first, and then we secretly met together. Yeah, secretly, I do say secretly, because you had us all going, what is going on? So go ahead, go ahead with your secret. <laughs> and exactly. And this is, what, this is what is called good business practice. This is marketing. This is PR. When you can turn around and keep people's interest, by letting them know that we have something coming up that we need to announce. So we got together, and we all met in Birmingham, uh, and we spent two, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three very productive, busy days in Birmingham uh, working our tails off to get this business put together, to get the Articles of Incorporation drawn up, to put in our capital investment into this, into this business. Um, we're not starting out broke. We have what we need financially to be able to support these events. And with good business practice, everyone knows you have to have money in the bank in order to front a good event. We're not worried about that, and we, we don't want the public to be worried about that either. And we can guarantee you, and we will make good on this, that our very first event will be phenomenal. So this is how we came to be. 
and there was a lot of things that took place in Birmingham. We would occasionally post a picture, and everybody's like, what are you doing? What are you going to do? It was it was. We were just there different. to drink all weekend, I promise. Yeah, y'all didn't look like y'all were drinking, for sure. Y'all looked like y'all were slaving away really hard, and, and, and it was killing everybody on y'all's team because of the curiosity always kills the cat. And you had a bunch of cats oh, yeah. just, like, dying over here. But that was great PR. And it, it, um, is. it is. You know what you're doing, you know. So go ahead. Yes. It's, we have great marketing strategies. So we are applying that to every aspect that we can. And um, we have so many things going on right now that, believe it or not, we are bursting at the seams to tell y'all that we <laughs> just did we can't give you everything. We have to just kind of give you a little bit at a time. Ah, oh, y'all are such teases. <laughs> we, we are, but we are going to tell you about our very first event. Gary, okay, well, who, who who does want to tell us about that event? Because we've well, all been waiting, you know. I mean, I'm not going to make like of the rest of the radio show hosts and go, Oh, we're going to take a little break. Be right back. No, I'm not going to keep y'all suspense because I'm freaking out, too. So, Gary, please, without further ado, tell everybody what the big event is going to be. Well, what we have so far, are you sure you want to know? I think so. I mean, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> y'all want to know? Go ahead, Gary. Bust it on out there, buddy. <laughs> All right. We have our first event scheduled for June the 12th and 13th. Uh, it's going to be in Gainesville, Texas, at the Hill House Manor. Uh, we're actually going to put put on a uh, little convention, Paracon, if you will. Um, we're going to run investigations through the Hill House Manor. Uh, we're going to have guest speakers, uh, guest talent, um, and several surprises. Um, there will be ticket sales um, and everything, uh, different packages, VIP packages and stuff posted on our website as soon as I can get it up. Uh, that didn't sound good, did it? Um, no, no, yeah. You better <laughs> rephrase that one. <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 as soon as I can finish working um, and getting the website completed, uh, there you go. we will... We should have it up and running by uh, Monday. Uh, okay. Monday. Uh, yeah, my face is red now. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, and a lot of people are are you know wondering about other events. Well, I can only tell you just a little bit, and I'm not going to give locations because. Uh, then that would just spoil the fun for later on. But there, I do have two locations in the works that have never seen any kind of paranormal event at their location. Uh, they have been featured on several of the paranormal shows that come on TV. There's been books. There's been all kinds of news articles written on these locations uh, are they haunted very uh, would people want to come yes and um, people have tried to approach these locations the business owners and tried to obtain this, these locations to hold events and they were turned away uh, why they decided to talk to me uh, about having something, I'm, I'm just good. Uh, yeah, I'm you are. Lie. You're very good, yeah. <laughs> and uh, now you're killing me because I'm thinking in my head all these amazing slipping locations that that I've been wanting to go to for so long um, and going, oh, my God, you know, and I'm thinking in my head. Oh. I mean, we're, you know, yeah. working on the schedule for this year and next year. In many years to come, uh, like I said, piece the piece locations, piece. the locations are going to be unreal. Um, very they, they exciting. Are. Yes, they are. Yeah, 
Yeah. What, what did you say, Connie? That they are going to be unreal. I mean, people are going to go, what the heck? How did y'all manage that? Uh, when we announce these locations that Gary is, is referencing, because they are huge points of interest that no one has ever had the opportunity to do what we are about to do. Um, and if we get to thank Gary for it. He's a big yeah, loser. He, he, that man can, he can talk. When it comes to talking, he can talk. Um, I have to give him kudos for that. And we, we will be announcing that on our website, uh, a lot of these sites. I can tell you that our goal for ASAP Entertainment LLC is to have at least three uh, investigations and or conventions per month. That is our goal. Now... Uh, we would like to have one weekend off, so we have some family time. Uh, there will be times that all three of us may not be at every event. However, our goal is to have one event, uh, three events each month, and we are filling up our weeks right now. Um, this very first investigation there in Gainesville, Texas, is, has a phenomenal history uh, at the Hill House Manor. They also have a Facebook page, and uh, they have a website. Um, I believe they're... And they have a great, nice little owner. That Her name is Linda Hill, and she's very, very cool. Yes, you are, you are correct. <laughs> and you have, um, oh, go big, ahead. The biggest thing that... that we're looking forward to is the Paracon. Having this convention in Gainesville, um, the the location that we're going to have this at uh, holds can hold up to 400 plus people under one roof. <clears throat> we're going to have vendors. We're going to also have speakers that are there, uh, talent and speakers that are there that will be uh, have. An itinerary, which is something that we haven't seen in a long time at some events, but anyway. Anyway, cough, cough. We will have an itinerary. There will be uh, inter. You, you, you. There's no reason why you can't have something of interest every hour of these two days. Our goal is to have VIP package. That VIP package will include uh, 20 VIP tickets will be available for Friday night and 20 VIP t uh, tickets will be available for Saturday night. Um, we want to give everybody the opportunity to get that VIP treatment. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yes. And, and, you know, what does that VIP include? Well, as of right now, that VIP does include an overnight investigation in the Hill House Manor. That will be from 1 a.m. until daybreak. And um, only 20 people in the house each of those nights. Then we will have general admission tickets. And what we'd like to do with that is with those general admission, uh, we'd like to be able to, well, I'll let Becky talk a little bit about the general admission mm -hmm. and um, how that's going to be set up also. Well, right now for the general admission, we're shooting for, um, and because we want to give each person ample amount of time to investigate because it's hard to go into one of these places and only do a somewhat proper investigation in one hour. You need a good two hours. That's what right. I like to have anyways. So we're going to try and run, um, on Friday night, we'll run two groups of 25 people through. The first group will go through from... Um, from 8.30 to 10.30, and then the second group will go through from 10.30 to 12.30. So there's actually only going to be 50 general admission tickets for Friday night and 50 general admission for Saturday night. So we expect this event, especially just the investigation itself, to sell out really fast. So, folks, once we get this posted and you can start buying these tickets, buy them as soon as you know you want to go because they're not, they're not going to last long. Uh, just no. that few amount of people. And you're going to get ample amount of time. I mean, two hours is a good time to run an investigation. In it sure is. Time. So it is, okay. and, it, and especially with it with it being 
that you have it set up like that, everyone gets the opportunity to do the locations. And the thing about it is they can always call.